A database sharing group is a group of team members who are sharing the same contacts and deals. In this example here, we have Aya and a couple of team players, Brittany and Todd, and an administrator, Kenny. They're all going to be sharing the same contacts and deals. Then we have Kevin out here by himself. Kevin is a power user. Kevin has his own contacts, and he is not sharing them with anybody else. Now, since Aya, Brittany, Todd, and Kenny are all sharing the same contacts, you don't assign contacts to each of those team members individually because they're already sharing all of them. Aya could assign a contact to Kevin, and basically what she's doing is taking the contact from this database and transferring it into that database. There are some things that are shared just within a database sharing group, and then there are other things that are shared by the whole team system-wide. System-wide, everyone is going to share the same general settings. Everyone's going to share calendars as long as this box is checked, and everyone is going to share templates with the team. Templates would be email templates or letter templates as long as this box is checked. The things that are shared within the database sharing groups are contacts, deals, and the automatic systems that are over here. You can also assign to-dos to each team member. Aya can assign a to-do to Todd, and Todd can assign a to-do to Brittany, and Brittany can assign a to-do to Kenny because they're all sharing the same database. Now, just to be clear, Aya could not look up one of her contacts and then assign a to-do to Kevin because Kevin can't see Aya's contacts. Aya would only be able to assign to-dos to people in her own database sharing group.